Perfect. Yeah, so uh, hi, I'm Bob Schaefer. I'm the department chair of two different departments here at Mission College, the engineering department and technology department. So the engineering department is a department that has been here at Mission College for quite a while, and its goal is to uh, encourage students and help support students who are trying to transfer and get a four-year degree in engineering. So the engineering department here is the first two years worth of classes, and then students are transfer ready. Uh, the mechatronics technology program that we started a couple years ago is intended to help students that are looking to go into industry and get a job right away. Uh, technician jobs, a lot of very well paying technician jobs are available to students that don't necessarily have the time to wait to go through an entire four year plus degree program. So the uh, presentation that I have here talks about both of those programs. Um, apologize for the small font. Uh, but this really just describes the two different programs that I just mentioned. They're very similar to each other. Engineering, you make things, you build things. A lot of times people that like engineering are people that like to break things and then fix them, see how things work. Electronics is the same thing, but in engineering, again, it's supporting students looking to transfer, and that's uh, requiring students to take classes that are calculus-based. A lot of the engineering classes require you to go to calculus as a prerequisite. And for a lot of students, it's kind of either a deal breaker or something that's going to delay things a little bit. Um, very valuable. But in electronics technology, it's about getting in, doing a technician job. How does this system work? I don't care how it was designed. I don't care how I have to build a new one of these. I need to use this one, and I need to use it to fix things. And so the mechatronics classes are not calculus-based. There are zero prerequisites for the mechatronics technology classes. You can come in with... No prereqs, putting their hands on circuit boards and equipment and programming things. And within a year, get a certificate, or within two years, get an AS degree and go out and get a job as a technician much faster. Okay, so uh, the descriptions that I'm going through kind of describe what both are about engineers, and I would say, and technicians, mechatronic students, use math and science to solve problems. That makes society better. Okay, there's three three parts of that equation, and you've probably heard of many different types of engineers. We're here in Silicon Valley, so the ones you've probably heard about most commonly here in Silicon Valley are software engineers and electrical engineers because Silicon Valley. But you see here many of the popular types of engineers: chemical engineers, chemicals, biomedical, materials, nuclear engineers, aerospace engineers. It's all different types of engineers. Engineers solve problems to make society better. These are the disciplines that they fall into. So um, a civil engineer, for example, would be helping uh, society, helping the, civil, uh, the civilization, roads, bridges, uh, water, sustainability, but all fall into civil engineering. Mechatronics is a combination of some of those words you saw on the last slide. Mech, mechanical. Electronics, electronics. So mechatronics is a combination of the mechanical engineering, the electrical engineering, and actually the uh, computer engineering to solve things. I'll read this, uh, even though I hate reading from slides, I'll read this because it's a nice tight description of what mechatronics technology is. Mechatronics technology is a multidisciplinary field of study that takes a hands-on approach, covering the most applicable topics in electrical, mechanical, software and computer engineering to prepare a student for technician related jobs. And as we're going through this slide deck, I want to highlight the fact that regardless of which department you might be interested in, uh, our college uh, teaches from a very collaborative spirit. Right? So I have here a diverse population of collaborative Mission College students. I don't know if any of you have taken Mission College classes before, but I have seen many campuses where there's almost a competitive spirit between the students. I don't see that. I see students that work together. And the faculty encourage that. They want to see students working together. Collaborative Mission College students taught by dedicated, passionate faculty that really care about the well being of our students. We teach engaging classes in a supportive environment. We have excellent advising. And hopefully, this all leads to stable employment. 
or mechatronics programs specifically qualify the students to go out and get jobs as highly skilled uh, technicians that can get jobs in smart manufacturing and other electronics. Who studies engineering and mechatronics? Men and women from all over the world. Uh, people who like to challenge them. As I said before, people who like to break it, who like to make things and fix things. Technicians, as I've been describing, uh, just kind of in, in the, uh, I said the word technician, but it could describe what it is. A technician is going to be someone that are skilled and they can go in and diagnose and uh, fix equipment or use equipment to solve problems. Most of the students that you're training go out and get jobs in automated manufacturing facilities, so place where giant robot do factory work and, and build things automatically. Our students are able to go in and use the equipment there to help program the robots or fix the robots if things go wrong. Um, we find that a lot of times veterans who have had any experience in engineering or in the field doing various things with their hands, technical equipment, very well suited to this type of uh, study. Engineering teaches a number of classes. If you are interested in an engineering degree and in transferring, these are the main classes we teach. Uh, introduction, we teach statics, which is uh, like forces that are on different joints when you're building something. Circuits, engineering graphics, materials. Programming and then MATLAB is a special type of analysis software. Mechatronics has a number of classes, and every one of these classes is a two unit class that's taught at night in person. Okay, there's three parts of that equation two units, it's done for half a semester. So you can actually get in, uh, we teach two in the first half of each semester and two in the second half of each semester. So you can actually get four of these classes banged out per semester. That's how you can finish the certificate program in a year. The second part of that was the fact that it's at night. We try to cater our mechatronics classes to students that have day jobs. Students that are working during the day, they come in at night. And the third part was the in-person. Even during the pandemic, we taught these classes in person because the hands-on is so important. We want our students to get their hands on equipment, play with it, plug things into breadboards, move things around, and actually make things happen, make robots move, program actual things. We have a, a whole simulated manufacturing um, program in our lab where we have conveyor belts that roll things down the line and a robot that kind of looks at it, picks it up, decides what bin to put it in based on what color it is, all programmed by the students that are taking the class. How do we teach? Hands on, especially for the mechatronics technology. Um, we have you working in teams, we have you working with others, our, our faculty are hands on. Um, bottom line, we're trying to get you to go outside of your comfort zone because we know that's where the magic happens. Um, I wanted to target just a couple other things here. I promised I would get through by about uh, 4.20. So uh, we're very well funded. <laughs> Our dean is very good at finding money. So we have a lot of equipment that you would see in industry. We don't have, uh, we have some training equipment, but we also have equipment that you would actually see if you went into uh, a manufacturing facility. And that's where our industry partners really like us uh, because they look at us and say, okay, the students that are taking these mechatronics classes are getting the actual experience with the actual equipment that they would use in, in our company. Uh, we have 3D printers and laser cutters and robot arms, Arduino kits, robot shields, all sorts of stuff that help our students learn the fundamentals that they need when they go out into industry. I don't know where my screen is. It's up here. It's, it's not advancing. <laughs> I think it's when you click on something. <laughs> there, it moves the focus yeah, okay. on the other. It's still there. I just can't control it anymore. That's okay. I didn't have much else to, to show. I'll just share that uh, the certificate program for mechatronics, I said, takes a year and take classes, basically 16 units to get that certificate. Uh, the AS degree requires you to do all the normal things that you would have to do to get an AS degree, the GE classes. Um, the mechatronics program, again, really caters to students that don't want to necessarily wait until their calculus ready. Um, but a lot of students will actually start with the mechatronics program, take some classes, they get them interested, they get to do some electronics, get to play with some robots, and then they find time in their schedule to take math, catch up on the math, get to their calculus, and then decide they do want to go into engineering and go get a bachelor's degree. So it can be a gateway as well. Um, so I'm happy to take any questions in my last couple minutes.
So a couple of nods. People excited about engineering? Anybody interested in engineering? Good. What do you got? Super excited. Super if I could excited. do math. You actually sold me. I'm a hands-on person. Like, you know, maybe that needs to be curved too. Um, with the program, because so much of it is hands-on, I know many of our students are interested in like hybrid or online learning. So are any of the, the metrotronics? The mechatronics one are all 100% in person. Yeah, it's one of the things. Word of advice, if you're ever starting a program that requires in-person classes, don't do it during a pandemic. Our right. enrollment yeah. was pretty poor the first year. Um, but it's one of the selling points of the program. Right. There are students that come out of it have actually touched equipment. There is a lot of simulation equipment you can get your hands on, but we find that when students come out of that and then go into the real world and start looking at real equipment, it's foreign to them and they're not really sure how the simulations tie to the real world. Right. So yeah, all of these classes are tied in person. Okay. So my next question is, no one else has a question. Um, how does the campus help connect the students in the program with potential employers? Uh, great question. So we have a uh, an advisory committee that is made up of individuals from different companies around the Bay Area that have sought us out and we have sought them out because they have a lot of jobs available. We have had a number of phone calls that have asked where are your graduates? We have many, many, many technician jobs that are unfilled. I have a couple of friends that work at Applied Materials and Tesla and uh, all sorts of places that you need technicians. The, the supply is not filling. Um, and we said, be patient. We're going to get some graduates for you in about a year. But it's a, a process to get students into the program. So. Um, a lot of students that we have actually already work at companies like that as assemblers or uh, you know other positions within the company and they're trying to move up a little bit to technician positions and so that's one of the reasons why we have the classes at night um, because the students can continue to do their day jobs and then come in and take the night classes uh, late afternoon night classes they start around 5 30 go until about 9 30 twice a week eight weeks of a semester um, so yeah, it's something that we're super excited about is that first train of graduates from this program are going to be funneled out probably this upcoming spring and we're going to be able to start touting the fact that we've put 10, 15, 20 people into jobs right away. And so that's that's the idea that people that start now would be in that position in a year or in two years to, to fill those jobs that are out there. Great question. No, thank you. Uh, if anybody's interested in getting in touch with me, my email address is bob.shafer at missioncollege.edu. So you can email me anytime. And 